Hello everybody, uh, I'm here today in uh, Black Rock. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm here uh, to have a look at uh, some tanking detailing done uh, for this uh, conversion of a outbuilding. It's a historic outbuilding. Uh, there's uh, migrating rising damp and also uh, higher ground levels surrounding this building which are leading to damp issues. Uh, we've contacted uh, Quigley Conservation um, and they have come up with a damp proofing detail uh, which I'm going to show you. So here we have the interior of this outbuilding and as you can see there's these fantastic stone walls. There's a lot of rising damp coming up through the property and also damp coming from the sides from higher levels and vegetation which are adjacent to this wall. So we've had to take a solution here of this plastic grating you can see it here laid up against the wall so it's um plastic with a sort of honeycomb in the back which lays up against the wall this keeps the humidity in that zone and will drain it to a floor drain which will be installed in the floor the floor will have a membrane attached to it that'll connect on to this plastic grating the plastic grating is fixed by screws which are fixed into the masonry walls. These screws look like this. So this plastic piece is drilled in and it allows just a standard 40 mil screw to be screwed into that to secure a metal stud or timber stud to the inside of this wall. And then inside that metal stud. So we've a day's work done here now and the tanking has been completed all the way up to the ceiling level. You can see the screws pinning it into place, uh, which will receive a stud later on with insulation on the inside. You can see here the floor has been attached to the, the wall sheeting. The floor is more robust um, and more rigid uh, product, again, with a ripple. And uh, you can see it is glued together with a bitumen tape and here is the, the bitumen tape product um, that, that uses to fix it. It's very, very tight fixing. It's, it's just totally bonded together here, um, sitting into the, the riffles uh, on the fabric. Um, this area here, we have a, uh, a bathroom, so we can't use this product. Um, we've had to use a different product, which is K11 uh, Bostic, and it's a mixture of um, the, the, the powder cement and uh, the liquid additive uh, mixed together and then brush stroked on to the floor. As we can see here, it's a fully sealed system and the sheeting is attached here with the bitumen all the way down to the ground. The ground is then attached back to the wall here and after that these patches are applied over all the screws to give it a really thorough seal so that there's no chance any moisture can pass through into the new building. Subscribe to our channel and give us some great ideas on products that you'd like to see us show you uh, how they're done.